this for one entire year. I've lost 55 kilograms. Sorry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> And it's definitely been the best two years of my life. Before I started, I was very unhealthy. I was overweight. I was unfit. And I just had a very low self-esteem of myself. I have this amazing friend. She's a fitness athlete. And I told her about um, the ad that I saw. And she said, go, have a listen, see what they're all about. And I had to send her the info because she wanted to make sure that it is a good fit for me. And I sent it to her and her words was like, go for it. I did my first six weeks challenge and I had great results and I enjoyed every moment of it. And then shortly after that, COVID happened. Um, sitting at home, not being able to work, um, not being able to gym, I picked up everything that I lost. In mid-October last year, after lockdown, I decided to come back to gym. I was extremely embarrassed about my weight gain that I picked up during lockdown. But the amazing thing about Forever Strong, they don't judge you. They actually embraced and supported me. I still remember coming back. It was so hard. And I remember crying in one of the classes. My body was so sore and it ached. And I remember one of the coaches actually just helped me through that workout because it was probably one of the toughest workouts. I've ever done and I was mad at myself for letting myself go during lockdown but I mean what are you going to do about it? It, it? It's done so you just have to move forward. After about two weeks back at Forever Strong my amazing gym buddy dragged me down to reception and she made me register for another six week internal challenge. And I realized I have to get my mindset right because if my mindset wasn't right, I was not going to make a success of it. So on 26 October, 2020, I started this journey and my challenge and I lost 13 kgs in the first six weeks. And I actually made a decision on that day after I did my challenge to continue going and see what I can achieve doing it for one year straight, a full 365 days. And I also knew it was not going to be easy, but I was willing to give it a try. asked me if she could help me reach my goals and I just took it on full steam because you need all the help you can get you're not going to do this by yourself you need to have structure and that is exactly what she gave me so with forever strong gymming six days a week a food plan that was created for me an amazing community and friends and family that supported me I knew I could make a success of it but success did not come easy. I had to sacrifice a lot. I had to live in my own little bubble and I had to be 100% dedicated to this journey. small little goals and I decided to do 5 kgs was my goals at a time. So after doing this for one entire year, I've lost 55 kilograms. Sorry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Yo, still feels very overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> So after doing 
doing this for an entire year. I've lost 55 kilograms. Not in my wildest dreams that I think I would be able to do this. Um, it was hard, but I had amazing support from amazing friends, family, gym people that gym with me every day, the coaches, everyone, and that made it amazing. I'm definitely today stronger, healthier, and happier. was the hard part but it's actually the easy part the hard part is still ahead and that's actually to maintain and to keep it off I've learned a very important lesson what you do at the gym is 20% what you eat when you get home is the other 80% it's nutrition is probably the most important thing you will have to learn you need to food prep I was told that food prep is probably the most important thing that I will have to do and it is definitely. I food prep every Sunday, my lunches and my evening dinners for the whole entire week. Then I've got no excuse not to eat my meals or have an excuse that I don't have the time or I'm too busy. Food prep is key. Things no one told me about extreme weight loss or prepared me for was the emotional ride that it's going to be. It is not easy. You have to learn how to pick yourself up if you're having a bad day. Take it day by day. If you're having a bad day, you know tomorrow's a new one. You just pick yourself up and you continue. Um, I've learned that if you're having a bit of an issue, vent for it for about five minutes. There's nothing you can do about it. Move on and like I said, tomorrow was a new day. You start over, you enjoy yourself and you just pick yourself up. My body went through a lot of changes. I had to keep on buying smaller clothes. The biggest thing I didn't prepare myself for was the flabby skin. But I've actually learned how to embrace it. But in time, this will also become better. I have to be patient. Weight loss does not happen overnight. I never gave up, even though sometimes it was the easy way out. Today I'm so proud of myself being able to achieve what I have with all the help that I had along the way. I'm so thankful. I've always also realized I cannot go back to where I was before. I've worked way too hard to be where I am today. If you are thinking of doing an amazing weight loss journey yourself, the following is very important. Be 100% dedicated and committed to your own journey. It is extremely important to stay positive and surround yourself with positive people that motivate you even when the days are really hard. Find yourself a gym you enjoy going to. Find yourself a nutritionist that can help you reach your goals. I know you can do it, it's not easy, but trust me, it's worth it.